Hello everybody, this is Maximum Donut. Welcome to another episode of Dark Souls PvP in depth. I am uh, in the forest and um, I got a very nice um, warm appropriate welcome to uh, to the forest by getting uh, beat down after getting Tranquil Walk of Peace. Uh, fun times, fun times. The whole reason that I was here was because I wanted to do some setup duels with uh, one of my fellow um, well, I suppose one of my subscribers. Um, I, I did, I did, I did sort of resolve to to call um, people like fellow YouTubers because um, you know, even before I started uploading um, videos, I would consider myself a, a YouTuber per se. But I, I understand that's a little bit confusing. If I call people uh, fellow YouTubers, it sounds like they they upload videos. So wow, that was a, a lot of. Um, Talking about absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, so garlic paste or Mr. Ninja Panda or something. I, oh my god, I I, I only know your game attack. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I was doing some setup jewels with uh, garlic paste, um, or I wanted to anyway. And uh, he wanted to duel in uh, in the forest, and so I was um, going to accommodate this, but. Um, it it was a long 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 time since I've actually duelled in the forest, so uh, yeah. Um, and this this was the result of the first two matches. Um, yeah, try uh, getting ganked by um, these guys, but they were both pretty shit. So um, you know, I actually do manage to. Like, this guy is doing a slow roll away from me. I he, so he must be like hell low level. I can't actually remember how. <laughs> and, the, and the um. The weird ass frog looking things just no oh, oh, no nah. just turn around and walk away because he's already dead. And I got ten thousand souls from that invasion, so um his uh, soul level must have been fairly low anyway. Um, righto, okay, so this is my uh, next invasion, um, convict eighty eight, uh, who's using the grant. And decides to uh, activate that um, ability while I'm bowing. So, you know, kudos to that guy. Um, but I understand that this is not the Berg. This is not even the Kiln. And so, you know, um, maybe. Well, I should just assume that people will just be unhonorable honor at all times, and also that people will always use the um, the giant's armor and stuff at all times. And there, I spam some. Um, Spam some uh, parries, trying to do that whole pseudo stacking, pseudo poi stacking thing to um, to parry fast weapons. And there, um, we just go at each other. But actually, that's a bad idea because my um, well, my poise is lower than his poise since he has so many um, pieces of Havel's armor. And I think he's using um, sorry, he's using Havel's uh, leggings and um, the giant. Um, chest piece and obviously he flasked up so that uh, just lets me um well it allows me I allow myself <laughs> to go ahead and parry oh sorry backstab his ass to all hell <laughs> yeah I think this is the first um first duel against garlic paste coming up here um I've um, been playing against garlic paste uh, a lot a lot in um in recent times and um, I'm sorry for those of you who um, you know would prefer to see um, more like invasion type duels um, rather than these kinds of um, setup duels, um, because uh, Garlic Pace is actually a, a really good player. Um, I sort of have to play a lot more um, tactically, and we do a lot more footsies and mind games and and things like that. And um, anyway, so. Uh, really, I, I probably shouldn't have um, done this setup duel with uh, with this particular character, um, knowing that I was doing the series with him. But um, what's done is done, and so uh, <laughs> we actually do uh, six matches. So um, for those of you guys who aren't really that interested in watching that, I'm sorry, but um, yeah. So it'll probably feature in the next um, three episodes. Um, but anyway, like it, it's it's I think it's um, well. When I was playing it, uh, I, I found it to be quite stressful. I mean, like, obviously, we're just um, circling way, way too far away from each other to actually, um, you know, have the possibility of getting any damage in. But because, um, well, we both sort of like the running attacks and we both like, um, you know, getting in, uh, doing damage and getting out, 
it's sort of um, a lot more comfortable to sit out uh, at a longer distance but realistically I should have been a bit more aggressive um, you see like we're sort of coming in and jousting even you know it's uh may not be the most entertaining thing to watch but it was uh, definitely very stressful at the time uh, maybe not maybe not this um at this particular point but you know <laughs> and also this was the uh, the first I think the first um setup duel that I, I'd ever done with with um someone uh, so yeah, it was um, pretty, I know it's pretty new stuff to me, I guess. Um, so, I guess I'll talk a little bit about what, what's what been going on um, in Dark Souls uh, recently, I guess. Um, so, as I'm sure every Dark Souls enthusiast is aware, there's um, been DLC released for the Xbox um, 360 and the PS3. And I cannot begin to uh, tell you how excited that makes me, <laughs> as I'm sure it makes um, every Dark Souls enthusiast out there very, very excited. Uh, I can't wait. I really, really can't. Um, uh, the fact that they are addressing some of the PvP issues um, and like are setting up matchmaking, that's, you know, makes me very happy, very happy. <laughs> and also, the prospect of new bosses, new items, uh, new armor sets, new move sets, new things to be able to master about the game, you know, that's pretty um, pretty appealing to me. Uh, when um, it gets nearer to the release of um, the DLC, I might do a um, let's play of the Dark Souls um, campaign, in inverted commas. <clears throat> um, because, uh, well, I've obviously never done that on this channel. Um, this channel has been exclusively um, Dark Souls PvP up to this point. So um, I'm thinking about, yeah, maybe doing a Let's Play, um, even though it's been a long time since I've actually um, played through the game pl properly. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't really know how that how that match will, oh, sorry, how that series will go but anyway um i think yeah as as it gets closer to the date of um the dlc release i will i will um definitely do a uh, let's play and that that'll be quite exciting because um um after that after i do the let's play of that um the the pre dlc content i'll um do another let's play of the dlc content and hopefully i'll do that with live commentary um and I'll do it blind so I won't actually look up you know how to do things and you guys will probably see me I'm um, failing a lot because um, pretty much uh, the first playthrough of Dark Souls um, that I did you know um, like everyone who doesn't look things up on YouTube or when when they first got it yeah would have just been absolute you know <laughs> it, it it's it's a difficult game to get used to. Um, once you get used to it, then it's not so bad. But initially, um, yeah, it's it's unlike any other game I had played before. So it was um, pretty tough for me, um, particularly since you know I've never played Demon Souls before. Um, there, uh, garlic paste. Um, we were actually chatting over um, Xbox Live, um, and he told me to um, sort of. Well, he wanted to show me what the uh, the slow um, the R two attack of the demon spear was, and it's that it's the same attack as the actual um, gargoyle demons uh, that they do. Um, so <laughs> really, really slow, and um, I think it does it does a considerable amount of damage if you actually ever get it off. But you know, um, you know, like the person that you're versing would have to be pretty much blind as, or you know, have the reflexes of someone very slow to actually get hit by the thing so not necessarily the most uh, viable um, PvP attack but you know um, actually looking back on this video so I recorded this video probably about oh I don't know um, maybe even a month ago or like just under a month ago and um, I have to say like I I feel like I am a lot worse um, <laughs> well in this video, I, I played a lot less well than I do now. I don't know. Um, in recent times, I've been uh, working on a um, a vitality gouge build that uses um about forty dexterity. So it's not really necessarily a, a vitality gouge. It's more like a vitality heavy fight dex hybrid. Um, but 
that character is based around um, increase so stamina regenerating as quickly as possible. So I use every um, stamina regenerating item, the grass crest shield and the um, the mask of the child and the chloranthi ring. And I also eat green blossoms at the beginning of each fight. So um, the the whole character is based around um, always being aggressive and um, never being predictable and and um, yeah, trying to base combat around always being in the opponent's face, and um, I haven't actually been doing it that well so far, but um, I've been doing a lot of um, un untargeted attacks with uh, trying to do um, dead, dead angling and, and things like that in, in my latest uh, my latest fights, so um, I'll be bringing that footage to you guys pretty soon. Um, but regardless, the reason that I was talking about that was because I feel like I've sort of come along a, a fair way as a Dark Souls PvP -er, even in this um even in this month. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, even now I, I doubt I'm like I'm the best uh, Dark Souls PvP -er, but certainly um I feel like I am coming along. There are uh, Chronic Eight One Eight. Um, really, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I kind of got the impression that he wasn't, you know, all too experienced with uh, with with Dark Souls PvP because he um sort of got dismantled a bit, didn't he? But yeah, anyway. Um, and then he uh, he goes ahead and invades me again while I'm um I'm just trying to continue the setup jewels with our garlic paste at the moment. Um, what was I saying before? I can't honestly remember. All right, so I actually had to go back to um, figure out what I was actually talking about before. Um, so yes, you guys can expect a let's play of um, Dark Souls, um, hopefully before the DLC is released, and then I'll be doing a blind live um, commentated let's play of the DLC content. Um, and as the um, as I get a hold of the items and the weapons, I'll also be doing uh, Dark Souls uh, PvP in-depth videos, um, analyzing those because once the new content comes out, um, you know things will be sort of still fairly fresh, which will allow me to experiment uh, with it and bring you my opinions on things um, a bit earlier, hopefully. Um, before you know people already have like well established opinions on things you know like um, I sort of came into Dark Souls PvP um, after everyone had sort of basically tried just about everything I mean there's there's still lots of things that you know, people don't really utilize very often but by and large um, most things uh, have already sort of been tried and like you know there are opinions uh, um, of all the weapons and armor sets and things out there so, you know, it, it'll be quite exciting actually, more for me anyway, and hopefully for you guys, the viewers, um, to see me um, ex like analyze, uh, you know, move sets and, and the viability of different weapons and armor sets um, just as the DLC comes out, you know, so that I'm not, uh, my opinions aren't hampered by the uh, opinions of everyone else out there. Um, anyway, so, but... Uh, it's still a fair way away from the DLC, so um, you know these uh, these plans are you know still um, a long way from fruition. And there I go and try and parry a, um, a force. Um, and this video is coming to an end, so um, I should probably stop rambling. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys uh, for watching a um, another episode of my Road to Humanity series. The series is actually coming to an end very soon. Um, like I, I've almost, um, I've almost hit my 99 humanity. I think there'll be another, maybe um, four or five episodes in the series. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about it in the next video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode.